Welcome to Ironcast. Welcome to West Ham United. Welcome to the Premier League. Mo Kudus, welcome, first of all. Thank you, thank you. You left Ghana 10 years old. You go to Denmark, then you make your way to Amsterdam. What a journey to get to the Premier League. And now you today, you join a club as, as we speak, Sunday morning, top of the Premier League. Do you think about the journey you've taken to be here on a day like this? Yeah, you know, um, been dreaming to play in a league like this since I was a kid. So just taking each day by itself and just following my dream and then we are here today. But it doesn't stop here. We keep we keep writing history and then keep going. Yeah. So excited to see you play in a West Ham shirt. For anyone who's who's not seen you play, any West Ham fans who haven't seen you play before, how would you describe the way you play? Um, I like to entertain the fans because I feel that's what football is about. Um, my dribbling ability, strength, finishing also. You know, yeah, so I'm just here to do my best to to help the team, you know. So the fans should just expect some entertainment. Oh man, Th that's oh, man, unbelievable! Excited. That's unbelievable to hear as a former player, but a West Ham fan. Um, hearing that you're here to entertain and excite the fans, it makes me so excited. You can see the grin on my face. <laughs> I'm I'm excited to see you put on that shirt and excite the fans here at the London Stadium. Um, leaving Ajax and leaving scoring a hat trick, knowing that it's going to be your last game, how did that feel? Um. Felt good um, for me. The situation I was in as a player, the job I could do was just to do my job on the pitch, and I just did it on the pitch. The, and the, the reason why I say that, sorry to cut. The reason why I say that is because, as a player, you know, like if you're, if there's talk of you going to another team and you're playing a game, in the back of your mind, you might be thinking, "Oh, I don't want to get injured," but you, you went out there and scored a hat trick, like. That shows to me personally, as a fan sitting here talking to you, the mindset that you've got is different to a lot of other players. Um, yeah, I mean, um, when I'm on the pitch, all the noise outside is, it stays there. So everything on the pitch is fully on the pitch. So my full focus was on that game, even though there were other stuff going off, off the pitch. And that's the job of my family and my agent to take care of that and fully focused on the pitch. So, and I live in the present moment. So, at that exact moment, I was at Ajax, so I was just doing my best for the badge. And you see the same thing over here. Yeah, There was a lot of West Ham fans watching that game. I was watching that game. I wanted to ask you about the interview you did immediately after the game. The <laughs> toughest interview I've ever seen a footballer get. You were completely grilled. But you said in that interview, West Ham, good club. And a lot of West Ham fans are like, oh, wow, this could actually happen. Did you get a sense of how excited West Ham fans were? Yeah, yeah. But... Um, Definitely before the game, um, I knew there was, um, it was almost done in, in between the talks of the club. So I just felt of just giving what was going to happen, you know, and yeah. that was literally it. Yeah. I think, I think your honesty that you showed in that interview is something that our fans here will love in you as a player, your honesty, your willingness to work hard. I think any new player that comes to, to this football club, this fantastic football club, should know and understand that you work hard first, you play second, which it sounds like that's you. You're going to work hard, you're going to play second and you're going to entertain the fans. When you do that, the fans here will love you forever. I can tell you from from past experience. I didn't excite the fans like you're going to excite the fans. Yeah, you couldn't, but, you couldn't dribble, I think that's No, fair. I couldn't. I couldn't. <laughs> but I understood to work hard first, you know, and play for the badge. You've said it yourself already. Play for the badge. That will set you in good stead for to, to be at West Ham United. Thank you. Thank you for that voice. Yeah. I wanted to, you mentioned your dribbling. I mean, we've all been, all West Ham fans have been watching videos of you. The dribbling is a huge part of your game. West Ham fans love players that run at, run at opposition players. Is that dribbling something you've always had throughout your career? Though? Um, yeah, yeah. I think it has always been one of my qualities. And I think it started from my childhood club um, in Ghana, Strong Tower. I think the coach gave me the freedom. It was I was young at that time, so it wasn't really about the results and it was just playing for the passion and for fun. So he just gave me the role to just anytime just get the ball, just try and take as many men as you can. So and naturally I've been built like with this low center of gravity to the ground. So 
um it's easy for me to turn around and and yeah I've, I've worked on that in the gym as well since i've seen that it's my strength so i just keep building on it and that's the biggest tool that helped me in most of my dribblings as well yeah and you've just every player that comes to west ham they get this amazing little video which you've just witnessed about what it means to play for west ham i wondered how excited are you about living in london you i mean you've just come from amsterdam a big city but is there something you excited about living in london um, yeah, yeah. Um, this is my, I've not been to London many times, actually. This is my second time, so I don't know much about the city, but <laughs> definitely it's part of the game, you know, on and off the pitch stuff affects what's happened on the pitch. So definitely, you know, I'm open-minded to, to see what we have over here. Yeah. And then there's a part of that video where it says, um, you can choose to live in the countryside or in the city. <laughs> I wondered, just so we get an insight into your cat, what, what are you, where do you think you're going to end up? You don't need to give us your postcode. We're not going to go, but like, <laughs> are you more into the countryside or the city? Living? Yeah, yeah, countryside, because I like more chilled places, with less busy, you know, yeah. less chaos. You know, that's when I have my peace with myself and, you know, I can resonate to most, most of my thinkings and stuff like that. So, oh, yeah. Brilliant. Have, have you spoken to, to, to Alvarez? Obviously, he's your teammate in, in IX. Have you spoken to him about what it's like to be here and, and, and how he was welcomed by the fans. Yeah, yeah. Great impression. And yeah, he, he told me his experiences and he's loving it so far. So he also pushed for me coming here as well. And yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad I'm here with him as well. Yeah. I actually noticed Edson put a post on Instagram and you did, I think it was just fire emojis. And again, West Ham has like, oh, it's a clue. We might get good. At <laughs> that is so much excitement from the fans. Um, you join us just the day after we had a fantastic result against Brighton and we've played really well against Chelsea. I just wondered, did you watch those games? Yeah, I watched I watched the Brighton game. I was here after my medicals, I made it and then I watched some part of it. Yeah. Top performance. Yeah, you must be so excited to yeah, be yeah, part yeah, of this team. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to ask about um, your Ghanaian international since 2019 and the current Ghanaian captain, Andre Ayew, used to play for West Ham. And one of the most capped Ghanaian players of all time is John Pansel. I wondered if you caught up with either of those two men about what it means to play for West Ham. Um, Ayew has been speaking highly of West Ham, you know. Um, but John Pansel is way older, so I don't I didn't really get <laughs> yeah. the chance to 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 speak with him or but Andre is still in the national team and he speaks a lot about his experiences in most clubs. And West Ham is one of the clubs that he highly, you know, speak highly of, you know. Yeah, do you know number fourteen, the one you've selected, used to be worn by John Pantsil. That's great. It's meant to yeah. meant to happen. <laughs> it was meant to happen. Yeah, he and, he was in my team. He was John Pantsil was in my team here. A fantastic character, um, someone again who wore his heart on his sleeve, you know, and someone who who not just wore his heart on his sleeve, but his country. He wore his country. He he had his country on yeah. his shoulders. I know you're going to have that. Being a, a Ghanaian, um, the Ghanaian fans, are we going to get more of them as West Ham fans, you being here? <laughs> you, you're going to see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> um, do you know much about the Ghanaian Hammers? We've got fan clubs, West Ham have fan clubs all over the world, but the Ghanaian Hammers are by far, I'd say, definitely my favourite and everyone <laughs> else's favourite. And Ghanaian Hammers have been messaging me on Instagram saying, you've got to, we've got to sign Kudus. I was like, I can't do anything about it, but I will interview him if he joins. And actually, they've sent over some questions. They just sent one question. Uh, Abdul, the president of the Ghanaian Hammers, just wants to know, how delighted are you to sign for West Ham? And when are you going to go visit the Ghanaian Hammers? Definitely. You know, um, I didn't know about them before, but when I had the um, intuition that I was going to come here, you know, and I saw, I saw them started mentioning me on my platforms a lot of times. So I click on it and I see um, what they do, how they support Hamas and they are raising um, funds for some charity works and stuff like that. So I think it's brilliant, you know, it's more than just supporting uh, Hamas. So I think it's, it's more than football, which which is all about people and stuff like that. So definitely, definitely, <laughs> I'll definitely visit there and we see how we can impact in, in other people's life using football in our tool, you know. Yeah, and we've got to at least get a signed West Ham Kudus uh, shirt to send 100%. over there. Yeah, yeah. Great. Right. Okay, <laughs> and that's done. And then, like, do you think we're going to see many more Ghanaian flags here at London Stadium? There's surely we've got Algerian and Brazil flags because Paquetta and Ben Rama. But surely now, definitely, definitely, I believe so. Um, and I wanted to ask about your highlight. I mean, you've played so many famous games for Ghana. In the most recent World Cup, you scored two in the victory over South Korea, which uh, you won three two. Has that been the highlight of your Ghana career so far? 
Um, yeah, I think I think because I think with the national team, World Cup is one of the I think the the, the biggest stage in in world of football. So to to perform in that stage was yeah, I think it's one of the biggest highlights for me. Yeah, and do, do you know as well, Chris Hewton, Ghana manager, played for West Ham as well. Has he mentioned it? <laughs> nah, he hasn't mentioned it. He hasn't it, mentioned but... it. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to ask him how he's great. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, and then in terms of the games we've got coming up this season, now you're in the Premier League. Where we've got City really soon, Liverpool at Anfield coming up. Are there any fixtures you're really looking forward to? Um, all the fixtures, you know. Um, for me, yeah, they are, they are bigger teams, stuff like that. But me as a player and... I approach every game with the same mentality, you know. Whether we are playing top of the league or bottom of is the same approach for me in every game so i'm looking forward to to all the games actually yeah have, have you as a player have you set many goals or targets this year for yourself personally um yeah i have personal goals i mean um that was when i was at ajax but everything changed now but so definitely we have to <laughs> reschedule the goals and stuff like that but definitely every year i have personal goals not just um just football but family projects and stuff like that all around myself you know any insight for the fans you see you see <laughs> <laughs> you see the end result <laughs> i just wanted to ask as well we've just seen you doing your media shoot in the new kit and all that and you have your own song governor b big west ham <laughs> fan big rapper he's written a song for you i just wanted to know did you like it yeah i love it i need to i need to start learning the lyrics soon you know i love the song <laughs> yeah it's 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 amazing. Yeah, it's so it, good. How good would it be if we had the fans actually singing it as well? <laughs> That's a, when he's on the when well, he's the on thing the is, pitch, Governor B's a really talented rapper. I'm I not know, sure but, most people could. I know, but I've, we've we've heard the fans take um, by our, by your car. We can do this with Governor B soon, no? <laughs> with Mo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fans, well, you got to do this. You <laughs> you got to start singing it on a Saturday for him. Come on, <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. We just wanted before we end, we've got ten quick fire questions for you, just to know, learn a bit more about you. Past or present player that you're most similar to? It's a difficult one. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm going to say yeah. dribbling one. Messi, dribbling wise. I don't know. It's a big Messi, name. Big uh, name that, 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 that's a lot of pressure. <laughs> 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 a lot of pressure. <laughs> uh, favorite stadium to play in? Think Anfield. Yeah. Favorite holiday destination, favorite place to go to? Ghana, Ghana. Ghana. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have a favorite West Ham player from the clips you've seen, just the way they play? Paqueta. Oh, lovely. Fav best teammate from your whole time playing football? Um, Kamal Dean Sulemana from Southampton. Yeah. Oh, nice. All time favorite Ghanaian player? <sighs> That's a hard one. Um, I have few, I have few. I think I have few that are all time. Okay. Yeah. John Pansel is he? Is he? Is he making the short? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, be, I was uh, gonna say, be careful. Be yeah, careful. Yeah. 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 Um, favorite World Cup that you played in or just watched on telly? Um, twenty ten. Twenty ten. And the favorite goal you've ever scored? Best goal. Uh... Liverpool Anfield. Yeah, it's one of my that favorites. That was lovely. Oof, I can't wait to see this out oh, here. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, I can't wait. Um, I also think um, Rangers in the Champions League for the first one. I think, yeah, that one also is one of my favorites. Oh, man. Okay. Great stuff. Interview done. I just wondered before we let you go, Mo, do you have a message for the fans? And more crucially, do you have a message for any Ghanaians who don't have a Premier League team who may want to join the Ghanaian Hammers? What's your message? Yeah, my message to the fans is I'm, I'm really happy to be here. And I'm here to fight for the badge. So, and my Ghanaians back home, thanks them for their support. And they should expect some magic. Oh, exciting Lovely. times. Lovely. Bring on the entertainment. Welcome to West Ham. Thank Welcome. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.